Hi friends, in our time together today, I'm introducing scale exercise 26 in D and G for both our low and our high D whistles. Um, I based scale exercise 26 on a pattern I found in a fairly popular slip jig. So scale exercise 26 is in nine eight time and it follows that one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So it's two triplets and a long short. So the pattern will be Okay, and now I'm just walking that up the scale in both D and G. Now I'm only walking it up the scale instead of as I usually do walking it up and all the way back down because you know, sometimes I realize that the exercise is just going to get too long and it'll frustrate you more than it will help you. So in this exercise, I'm only walking up. Maybe I should do a scale exercise 27 where we walk down. <laughs> I don't know. I'll see. I'll see what I think about it. As usual, I'll put a link at the top of the notes to this video so that you could download the music and tabs for this exercise. One quick note, I, there was a software update and um, with the software update, the plugin that generates the whistle tabs is not working on my software. Um, I've put in a trouble ticket, I've tried a number of things, I thought I had it fixed and it wasn't. So if when you download the music and tabs, there are no tabs, um, I'm sorry, that means I haven't fixed the problem yet. I'm still working on it. I will get it fixed. Uh, either by finding a way to fix this software or getting different software because I, a number of you want those and I do not want to provide you music only when you want, when many of you want music and tabs. So anyway, Scale exercise 26 in D and G following a slip jig pattern going up the scale. And uh, I'll talk about the benefits to this exercise in just a bit. And there are many, so stay, stay with me. This is gonna be an excellent exercise to help us develop our skills. And developing our skills is so important in becoming a better musician in playing our whistles. So. Here is the exercise in D. Simple enough, you start on the D, you walk up, you bounce, you go down to, then you go back up to, up to, down to. Just follow my fingers or look at the music and hopefully the music and taps. Here is the exercise in G. And then we'll talk about different ways to use the exercise and the benefits I know it will bring to you. That's the exercise in both D and G. Now, I'll talk about the benefits um, before I talk about different ways to use this exercise. And uh, I mean, it looks really simple, but there are some real complications here that, that will really help us develop 
our dexterity, our jumping between notes, um, our whole coverage, uh, speed. You think about some of these transitions, you know, it's pretty simple starting off. So that gives you opportunity. Notice you've got repeated notes. You're coming back to the F sharp a lot. You're going up, you're going down. Great opportunities to try some repeat note ornaments, some ornaments for rising, some ornaments for rising, some ornaments for, for uh, going down. But then, uh, a little later in the D exercise, you're having to do a lot of just bouncing around and that that can pre uh, present some difficulties. But in the G exercise in particular, you're doing the C natural on my Howard. I like doing uh, covering holes two and three. So that is not, um, you really have to work on that. And I could play it a little quicker because, well, I wrote the exercise and I've worked on it. <laughs> I've already received benefit from this exercise. So it's, it's gonna be so important for uh, doing some of those note jumps. It's gonna be important for working on your speed. It'll be so valuable for that. It'll be good for note clarity because you're gonna have to pay attention to your whole coverage with some of those interesting uh, note jumps. Um, and then it's a beautiful, as I said, opportunity to work on your ornamentation. So ways to use this exercise. Um, play it slowly, so speed. Play it slowly so that you can play it well. Learn the exercise first. Then try and play it faster. And I guarantee you, as you're playing it faster, it will feel stumbly. <laughs> Uh, I know that because I've been there and I'm still there. Um, you can really enhance your ability to play quickly and accurately with this exercise. Um, and as we do with tunes, add in some ornamentation at the different speeds so that you get a feel for that, you get a flavor for that. And again, I don't like to be prescriptive on ornamentation. I, it, that's very personal though. Um, I still owe us a, uh, a bit more of an ornamentation uh, full video, but I've been reading a bunch of other stuff, uh, people's opinions on when to use what. So um, I'm working on that some. So that'll be good too. So speed, dexterity, muscle memory, ornamentation, um, and also getting that 9-8. That that's that's going to be really important too. So <laughs> great exercise for us, my friends. I hope you were able uh, to take advantage of it and read and and uh, receive good benefit. And I seriously hope that by the time you download the music and tabs, that the tabs will be there. That's a challenge for me that I'm going to work on. Until next time, this is Scott Shade. Happy whistling, my friends. <laughs>